Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create this really glamorous looking Veronica Lake-esque old Hollywood wave do using curling iron. Yes, it is a trick. I will show you how. Um, because we are using a curling iron, I want to stress that you must, 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 must use a heat protectant before you style. I've been using Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant and Shine Spray. I've also today used Ultimate Hold VO5 Hairspray and Paul Smith Glam Shine Serum, just in case you're wondering. I think they look nice for um, the upcoming holiday season or just glamorous nights out. Uh, it can also be adapted for like a beachy wavy look if you don't put the deep parting in and you muss it up a little at the end. But for this I've tried to keep it nice and smooth and sleek and glamorous. And also please, I've finished filming the tutorial now, I've burnt my hands uh, like 15 million times so be careful of the tongs. I know that sounds stupid, I know you're not babies but please be careful of the tongs. I'm not using the clamp on the iron you're going to just be using your little, little pinkies so um, please put a glove on if you've got one not any old glove, a heat protected glove um, I know you can get them with some of the um, curling tools you can use one of those curling ones whoop, one of the conical ones I'm using I don't know what diameter that is quite large I absolutely love making these videos and to help me know which videos I should do for you and which tutorials you like you can press the thumbs up button down there it would make my day if you did that also I'd love it as always if you'd subscribe to my channel for regular updates you can also click here if you're interested in more vintage hairstyles or just visit my channel if you're interested in general hairstyles that'd be lovely okay so we're going to tongue our hair from the bottom layers up to the top, the front section being the most important because that's the bit that's going to be on show, obviously. So section your hair off to begin tonging. The sections you're going to take are going to be relatively wide, you don't want to take them too small because you want to try and achieve a uniform wave pattern up the whole hair, up the whole hair, on the whole hair. So separate your hair off, I'm, I'll show you how much I get of mine. Each section that we take we're going to brush through and then cover in heat protectant spray. I'm taking probably one inch sections to curl, maybe one and a half inch. They can be wider if they're thinner. See about that much. You just need to really make sure you douse each strand in heat protectant spray. Okay, here comes the magic. Take your tongs, keep this bit closed and take your section of hair. Now you're going to start winding from near the root, maybe about two inches away so you don't burn your face. You're going to roll away from your face. You're going to put this bit of hair near the handle of the tong. So you're rolling away from your face. When you get to here, you're going to do one twist, whoop, and then back round the back of the hair tong. You're going to pull it up round the front and then one twist again. So each time you come round you're just giving it a twist at the top and then laying the hair flat until you get to the ends. I'll show you again, don't worry if that wasn't clear. <laughs> and when all the hair is hot you release. Now you can see that as opposed to a curl, I've got a backwards and forwards wave. Now to be honest, that's kind of exciting. I'm going to spray that wave with a dusting, a dusting spray, a bit of hairspray. So I'll go through it again on the next section. We section off maybe an inch, an inch and a half, two inches wide of hair, spray with heat protectant, brush through. And then about two inches down from the roots so you don't burn your face, you're going to place the roller, the tong, and pull your hair up and over the tong nice and flat and twist at the top. And then just make sure each time your hair is wrapped around the roller, it's wrapped flat with just one twist at the top. Okay, I'm going to carry on doing the rest of this mop and when I get to the front bit, I'll turn the camera back on. 
I think what makes this look so uber sexy is the really deep centre parting. So make a parting um, round about on level with the middle of your eye or your eyebrow arch and make it a nice neat strong part and then clip one side away. You're going to work on the shorter, the thinner side first, the thinner side of your part. And you're just going to continue in the way that you have been through your hair. Um, wrap and then twist, wrap and then twist. Now sometimes when you release your hair from the hair tongue it might be in a little bit of a twisty dreadlock. If you just flick it over you'll see that it's not actually, if you've, if you've done the roll right it will be a wave. Sometimes it can just twist up, I don't know why. Now to the deep side of the side parting, the section, the curtain of hair that you're going to want to fall seductively over your face, I want you to roll in the opposite direction. So you're rolling downwards to create lift at the hairline. This will send the wave forwards over your face, hopefully. It's quite key to the look to have it falling down over your face. You don't want it to go away from your face. Just brush through your waves ever so gently. Um, with a wide tooth comb if you've got one you can rake through with your fingers it's quite cool to smooth some serum in your hands and rub that over your final style just for extra shine and that's it you're done um, old Hollywood waves easily with a curling iron thank you so much for watching hi today I'm going to show you how to create this really oh I better turn the telly off Hollywood style Veronica Wake let Oh, Veronica Wake, every time, every time. Star, don't burn your hair. And release. Ow, I burned my ear. Oh, there, look, look. Say hello, people. Hello. And my hair is magically not in shots, so that's pretty well worked out, is it? And maybe wear it in a centre part as opposed to shrekshire shard parting. I'm going to brush through the lengths. Oh. Ever so gently, so as not to snap it. Veronica Wakelet. Ugh!